There's new information tonight about the investigation into the Rochester firefighter arrested on several child pornography charges. Jackie DePere joining us now with these new details. Jackie. That's right, Don. Good evening. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office, nearly 1,400 messages and 121 videos of child pornography have been recovered from Rochester firefighter Brett Marapiz's cell phone. Some of those images and videos allegedly depict the violent sexual abuse of children as young as toddlers. In 2016 and 2021, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children received a tip that a person in Rochester was uploading suspected child pornography. According to court documents, police investigated and found the IP addresses were associated with the Rochester Fire Department. When we, when we start talking about IP addresses, that kind of gets us in the neighborhood. Sometimes it'll bring us right back to a house, which is great. Then we can use that information to obtain search warrants and seize electronics and things of that nature. The New York State Police interviewed employees with access to RFD's on-site internet service in both 2016 and 2021 including Brett Marapiz. Both times, he denied ever viewing child pornography. Then, in March 2023, the Irondequoit Police Department received a report from the father of a 13-year-old girl. According to court paperwork, that father believed an adult was persuading his daughter to produce and send him child pornography. Once they get them to produce, so they'll groom them along the way, get them walking down that road, once they have those initial photographs, and then they'll try to pressure them to produce uh, additional videos, and, uh, and they'll, they'll kind of ratchet up in terms of the severity of the videos. Eventually, investigators say they linked that Snapchat account to Marapiz. On June 13th, search warrants were executed at Marapiz's home and the Rochester Fire Department. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office, Marapiz's phones contained evidence involving the production of child pornography and sexual abuse of children, some as young as toddlers. Every time that picture is seen, that child is violated, that child is victimized again and again. The U.S. Attorney's Office says they believe Marapiz communicated with more than 100 girls between the ages of 12 and 16. Anyone with information regarding Marapiz or his social media profiles is asked to contact the FBI tip line at 585-279-0085.